Hi folks, I'm going to talk to you today about freezing fish. When I go fishing, I love to be able to eat fresh fish, but that's not always the case. So sometimes you have to freeze it. I'm going to walk you through the process of freezing some fish. Uh, me and my family went fishing over the weekend, caught some channel cats. They've been in my fridge for a couple of days soaking in water. First thing I'm going to do is put them in the strainer, clean them up, clean them up, and then I'm going to get to the freezing process. Okay, I'm just going to take a few fillets, put them here in the strainer, make sure there's no grass on them, let them drain off well. I'm going to stick them in the freezer on the cookie sheet and let them flash freeze before I do all the finishing touches here. Rinse these off here and let them drain good. Alright, my fish has drained well. I'm going to Put it on a cookie sheet here, stick it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to allow it to fat, flash freeze and then I'm going to put it in my seal meal bag and freeze it the rest of the way completely. Uh, fish, once it's in a seal meal bag with all the air gone, it, I like to keep it, I normally don't, but I will be able to keep it up for 9 months if you choose to do that. Alright my uh, fish has been in the freezer for uh, about 30 minutes now. It's firm to the touch. I'm going to go ahead and seal it in my bags. I've uh, put the name of the fish, the date on there. You know, it's kind of like the grocery store. You want to use the oldest first. So, you know, I, if I have some fish from December of last year, 1216, I'll use that before I'll use the catfish of 317. We'll go ahead and put the fish in here, seal it up, stick it in the freezer. There you have it folks, a nice flat package of catfish fillets, ready for the freezer to be enjoyed at a later time.